In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to create image views to load local and remote images into your application. As well, we'll take a look at how to take a collection of images and animate them to make an animation. Take a look at the code. We're going to add an image view to the uh, main window, which is win1, represented here on line 9. And we'll do that by typing var img view equals, and we'll use uh, the following method titanium.ui.createImageView, open parentheses and braces and close them. Okay, so now we need to include the following property, URL, colon, and then the path to the image. The image can be local, that is it can be on the device, or the image could be remote, it can be on the internet. Obviously when you're designing your application, if you include a remote file, you'll be asking the user essentially to use a part of their data plan and as well that's contingent on them having a network connection. So just know that um, as uh, essentially dependencies for using a remote image. Anyhow, so a local image here, images slash window bg.png. This is an image I have in a folder called images in my project folder. I'll save it and then we need to add this to the window. A lot of times we can forget to do this step. win1.add parentheses img view. So now we're adding the image view to uh, the main window. We'll head to titanium and compile. And now we see the background image in the application. Close the application and head back to the code. Okay, if we wanted to include a remote image, we just need to include the path to that image. There's no um, additional properties. I happen to have loaded in memory this very long URL to a picture of acoustic guitar. I'll save it, head back to Titanium, and then launch. So you'll notice that there was a background image that would display um, while the image was loading, so that's helpful. And if you intend to load larger images, you should be um, aware of a few things. One, the device um, isn't necessarily the most powerful in the world, that is the iPhone. And uh, you need to be very sensitive about the size of data that you're loading in remotely, or even locally for that matter. And really, you only have an area uh, maximum of 320 by 480 um, tall. So, you know, you, you need to be sensitive to how you design um, and load images into the device and remember that it's a very small platform. Okay, so now if we want to do animations, what we'll do is we'll go to the code and we'll create first an array called images. Now the array can be called whatever you want. I'm in fact to push that point, let's call it IMGS equals and then we're going to open and close square brackets. So that's setting up an array. Now we're going to create a loop, and that'll be done for open parentheses, close parentheses, and then open and close your braces after. So if you're not used to um, control structures, a for loop is essentially going to perform an action for as long as uh, the conditions um, in the parentheses are true. So we'll say var i equals 1. So we're setting up a variable called i and we're initializing it to 1, semicolon. We're saying as long as i is less than an amount, so let's say um, 35. And I'm not pulling this out of the air, I'm going to show you where I'm getting this from, semicolon. Then do something to i, which is increment. And essentially I have a collection of images that is um, a total of 35 or so images. So actually let me go into the resource folder and you'll see them here image view tutorial underscore one two three all the way up to 35. Okay so I'll go back to the code. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a structure that appends um, the suffix of the number onto the file name and we're going to be animating this entire loop. So, I've got the control structure going. Now, I need to 
push images into this array. So imgs dot push. Okay, so this is a method to push uh, files into the array I created on line 14. Open and close parentheses and semicolon. And so now I'll create a string, images, and I have to look at the file name again. File name is image view tutorial underscore and then the number. So I'm going to copy everything up to the number. Okay, and then plus i plus png dot png rather. Okay, so I'll review. I've created an array on line 14, and that's done uh, by making var the name of your variable equals and then square brackets. I'm using a control a control structure in the form of a for loop, and the condition is that we initialize a variable i equals one. So long as i is less than 35, we'll increment it. And then we've made a method here to, uh, or we're invoking a method to push these images at this path into the array imgs. And these images, um, this is the string that points to the images up to where the number is. And then this plus means that we are concatenating the number onto the file name. It's a lot. But it's an efficient means to do it. And actually, it's um, as an aside, it's one of the reasons why Titanium is quite wonderful is that JavaScript is really loose um, in letting me just take this number and apply it to a string. I don't have to type it. Um, so I like it in that way. It's very nice. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our image view. We're going to get rid of the URL property. We don't need that for animations. Instead, we're going to use images, plural, colon, and then we need a pointer to um, the array that has the images, which is here on line 14, IMGS. Okay, comma. Now the next argument is duration, colon, and in terms of milliseconds, this is the time between um, frames or between images. Okay, so let's say we want 100 milliseconds in between each image. Then there is an argument called repeat, repeat count, colon. Um, if it's zero, it'll loop, essentially go on and on. Uh, greater than one, and then you're talking, uh, you're telling it how many times to repeat the animation. We'll just set it to go infinite. All right, so far so good. Now, if we rendered this, nothing would happen. Because now we need to um, send a uh, command to the image view that says start the um, animation. So we're going to do something that's a little ahead of the lessons that I've planned, which is we're going to add an event listener. Um, so really quickly, uh, because that's not necessarily the focus of this lesson, an event listener allows us to listen to different components of the application and then do things based on what is heard. So we're going to make an event listener called img view dot add event listener parentheses. We're going to be listening for the load event from img view, and then we're going to make an anonymous function here. So function e open a parentheses, and then we got to close. Okay, so close parentheses and don't forget to close um, or cl open the brace and close the brace and the parentheses. So now what we're going to do is we're going to call imgView.start. So we're telling the image view variable or sending this method start. So that starts the animation. Okay, so that's a lot in review. Create the array, push images into the array then uh, tell the image view what the array is using the images property, set the time between um, each of the images and how many times it's going to loop, and then using an event listener, which is here, listening for when all the images have loaded, that's the load function, start the animation.
Now, since we're using the same variable, we don't have to um, do anything to the win1.add. Save it and cross your fingers, folks, because it's a lot of changes, and I wouldn't be surprised if it crashes. Launch. And there we go. There's an animation of Luigi uh, driving his car. Now, I will point out that the images I used, um, if we take a look at their size, each of them is 128 uh, kilobytes, which is pretty large, I think, um, to set up a 35 or so frame animation. Uh, again, you really want to be sensitive to the size. I got a little lazy when I was creating these. Um, you want to be sensitive to the size because the device does have performance limitations. But this gives you a, a general overview of how you would uh, implement animation with your own uh, images.